morning. Meteorologist Hunter Ward here with your update. We've got winter storm warnings posted for many around western North Carolina as a strong frontal passage is going to occur. <clears throat> low pressure is going to come up, really get captured by an upper level low, then it's going to move up into western North Carolina. So we'll see how all that plays out. I've actually upped my snowfall totals just a little bit based off of recent model trends. Ground temperatures are going to be a concern, but the timing with this, it's at night. You know, no, no snow angle, nothing like that to melt the snowfall. So we've got a good shot here uh, to get a real quick thump of snow. How much actually accumulates, uh, it's, it's a tough call. But let's go ahead and turn around to my website. I want to thank Red Wolf Contracting Services, CP Cruise and Company. Uh, you can see that winter storm uh, warning has been issued for us. Looking at the Grimes Ty Sanderson camera, still just overcast skies, some uh, fog in the valleys back there, Banner Elk Live camera as well. Uh, just a real low ceiling with those clouds. And uh, looking at the, uh, let's see, the Haywood Community College camera here. Traffic moving nicely. TJ Hooper Nationwide camera out in Brevard. You're seeing a little bit of snow on these. All these cameras you'll be able to see snow, I believe, on early tomorrow morning late tonight and so let's go ahead and i know you guys are wanting to uh, see my updated accumulation map so let me pull that up for you okay so here's the updated accumulation map <clears throat> i'm thinking three to six inches is now going to be possible for most of buncombe county most all of buncombe county all of haywood county three to six inches and that might be low some locations could need to be higher six to eight inches or so uh, madison county as well i do believe that we're going to get a nice thump of snow for this area right in here now as you move away from Asheville, temperatures are going to decrease there's going to be mixing issues especially after you get out of the mountains here so we'll struggle just a little bit and uh, i see a little area right there that should be blue so please don't kill me and correct me on uh, facebook i know i misspoke so we're looking at tonight and into monday morning uh, is is the key with this tonight and into Monday morning. So uh, Burnsville, I'm thinking three to six inches. Uh, Boone, maybe maybe more, maybe six to eight inches. Uh, it's a little tough call with the warm ground temperatures, and so I'm kind of wavering back and forth. I think Silva could see uh, two to four inches or so of accumulation. You guys are going to be right on that line of uh, where the temperatures are kind of borderline. We could see some mixing of sleet, and uh, and I think many of you will mix from sleet as well so i'll post this map up here uh in the next uh, hour or so on my website as well so you can take a look at ashevillewx.com so let's turn around show you what the most recent hrr bottle is showing this is how it plays out low pressure really deepens gets caught by that upper level low we've been talking about gets that gulf moisture involved here you can see that comma head developing on the back side that is key. That's where your accumulating snowfall is going to come from. That's where we could see the possibility of thunder snow. Yes, thunder snow. The dynamics will be there for thunder snow. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody around Western North Carolina saw it. Uh, it's going to happen probably around 2 to 3 a.m. Uh, so set your cameras up or wake up early, set an alarm if you want to see it. You may be woken up by it, um, but the dynamics will be there. And as you can see, by uh, 8 or 9 a.m., this thing is out of here. But it's done its damage, uh, heavy snow for several hours. And I'll show you what the accumulation map is showing. Five inches here for Asheville, five to six. And then some of those border counties, you know, it's showing <clears throat> eight to nine inches in Haywood County. And then as you taper down towards uh, Transylvania, Henderson County, we had those temperature issues and uh, we, do, we get more mixing occurring than snowfall. Right here along the North Carolina-Tennessee border, it's golden. I mean, look, 25, 26, somebody's going to get absolutely rocked by this storm. And, <clears throat> you know, most of the models are showing this as well. Let's show you the most recent GFS. So, I mean, it showed 10 inches of snow fresh. Well, I think that's a little bit high, but, um, you know, you have to take it as a grain of salt and uh, put it together with all the other models. Let's show you what the European model showed. Six inches of snow, <clears throat> you know, very amped up. So <clears throat> these models are in agreement that we're going to see some type of accumulation. So, you know, how much accumulates with the uh, <clears throat> warm ground temps? It's a little bit hard to tell. That's why I went a little bit lower with my totals. 
but I do think there's the potential there for higher end totals, and uh, this could be a very impactful event for Western North Carolina. School closings possible Monday, um, icy roadways, power outages. Uh, you know, the winds will be high on this backside. We could see winds gusting over 30 miles per hour with blowing snow. Um, <clears throat> you know, so could even see some blizzard-like conditions in those higher elevation locations. But uh, I, like I said, I think the dynamics will be there for thunder snow and have that negative omega. Uh, in the atmosphere and so that's typically what we look for when we're looking for signs of thunder snow and so I've done the evaluation on that it it will be there and so just take that uh, with what you can and uh, the NAM also the NAM's running right now Um, I don't think we have any updated data from it but you can see the precipitation is going to be there so let's look at the radar right now Got that rain that moved through this morning. It's telling you guys what to be looking for. Let's see if we've got any. Oh, yes. So we've already got lots of precipitation developing over Arkansas. So this was going to be key. <clears throat> I mentioned this in uh, my last videos. <clears throat> this will be key to what we're trying to do here, you know, for snow lovers. This is that comma head developing. So if you're watching on radar today, you're going to begin to watch that rotate around, and this is going to be a snow band that, that develops and uh, affects all of Missis northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, Georgia, all of Tennessee. I expect to see accumulating snowfall all in this area, and then it's going to really enhance when it gets to western North Carolina. So, you know, most of your friends in Tennessee are going to see snowfall today. Um, northern Mississippi, I, I think that we'll start to see those M-ping reports. There they are. Uh, freezing rain, snow around Little Rock, Arkansas. So if you followed me, you've been listening to my videos, we talked about watching that precipitation start in uh, in Arkansas this morning. And <clears throat> we're seeing it come to fruition here. And uh, excuse me, I'm going to clear my throat. <clears throat> and we're seeing it come to fruition here. And it's, it's going to be moving our way. You can see we've got snow showers all the way up into western Tennessee already. And that's going to be moving its way all towards western North Carolina this evening. This is the system to watch. This is what we've got our eye on. And so, as I showed you on the models, you know, a, a lot going on here, a lot to keep track of. Rainfall is going to continue this evening. <clears throat> and then I think probably around midnight to 2 or 3 a.m. will be key times to see snow. Maybe 4 to 5 a.m. as well, you'll be able to see it. Um, and then we'll just go from there. I don't know how long it's going to last. I think it'll last till 8 or 9 a.m. And uh, it should be relatively heavy snow after it switches. Uh, so you could be waking up to a, uh, a good bout of snow tomorrow. So uh, I think 3 to 6 inches. We'll throw up my map again. You know, 3 to 6 inches is possible around the Asheville area. 3 to 6 inches in Waynesville. Silva right there along that 2 to 4, 1 to 3 inch line. Bryson City. <clears throat> right there along that one, two to four, three to six line. Marshall, uh, Madison County area, I think you guys are going to get three to six. Yancey County, three to six uh, with higher, you know, six to ten plus totals along the border. And uh, Boone, Boone could even get, you know, eight inches or so of snowfall from this. Boone, Banner Elk, this is going to be a, a, an impactful event for many around western North Carolina. So uh, <clears throat> going to be doing a uh, another update later today. Just to keep you guys in the know, and uh, likely do a uh, Facebook Live session later this evening uh, for take some questions for you guys. So uh, make sure and subscribe to the page, like the video, and uh, keep following along. Uh, have a good evening, or have a good day.